guys, how are you guys doing? Welcome back to yet again a brand new video. And for today's video, honestly, by the time this video goes up, I might be dead. I might have crashed through my local co-op. I might have crashed into your nan's house. Honestly, I don't know. I might have just crashed. I might be off a cliff right now in Mexico. Jesus Christ. For today's video, guys, I am going to be trying my first ever attempt at changing my brake discs and my brake pads. So yeah, the main reason why I'm actually changing these brake discs is because it looks like fucking Wolverine has just slashed a perfect circle into my brake disc. And obviously, I do not want to be giving the new owner this looking like shit. So we've obviously got new brake pads and we've got new brake discs that look absolutely sensational. I mean, look at these. These things should genuinely not even be classed as brake discs. These should be classed as flying fucking saucers because that's what they fucking look like. <laughs> oh my God, look at them. Nice, brand new brake discs oh my god look at those as well as uh brake discs i've obviously also got brake pads this can be my first attempt might die but that's okay what is that oh shit what is that honestly this might be the last time you see this car in one piece so i'm gonna cut myself short and scrap like four fucking hours of footage so basically i ran into two problems doing the brakes uh one being a fucking idiot and i was tightening the screw instead of untightening it fucking hell i feel like i'm taking a shit and the other problem is actually i stripped the retaining screw so basically the disc was stuck on just just watch these two snapchats and i'll show you guys how i fucking bossed that bitch I've just done the most sketchy thing ever. I've literally drilled into my brakes. I've been here for about two hours now trying to like unscrew it. I just pulled out a fucking drill and drilled it off. If you talk about being sketchy, don't at me. So because of these two problems that really, really slowed me down, I was running out of daylight, so I was rushing, and I wasn't uh, focused on getting all these bling bling, uh, wing wong sh shots. Basically, while I was editing, I was like, this is boring as shit. So we're going to hop to the morning because I haven't actually done the second set of breaks because I ran out of time. And yeah, let's go to the morning and let's do the next set of breaks. Don't mind me, I look like a single mum on a Sunday morning. Don't mind me just drinking out my amazing, this is what an awesome YouTuber looks like mug. Shout out Chris. And of course, we've now got this amazing, stylish mug holder. <laughs> it's pretty much while I'm in the morning on a Sunday, you can literally lift it up and you can do some weightlifting for these skinny ass noodle arms. Oh, of course, we can even drink out of it, look. Anyway, let's actually get back to fucking work, all right? Let's go. Come on. Right then, it is actually the next day. Come on, Flo. Um, and pretty much, I'm going to show you guys a new break. Discs and pads, because they look fucking sexy. Come on, voila. The wheels need a bit of a clean. But we've actually got these bits, new brake discs, and of course, like I said about you yesterday, we've actually got blue <laughs> brake pads now. So then, last night I actually left the garage in such fucking tip, but I've actually organised all of the parts that we're going to use for the brake change into this little section right here. Right, without further ado, here is the last look at these disgusting brake discs. It's quite a deep indent, so I'm guessing there's like a, a stone or something that's got caught in the brake pad. Got it, nice. There's one. The, ne the next screw out. So now, we're gonna be like bear grills in this bitch, and we're gonna take this caliper out. Ooh. So pretty much we keep it up there so that this breakdown like doesn't like get tension on it or bend. Basically, I'm not sure. Next thing, we've got two bolts. One, two, 
the 19 millimeters blinged out with the fucking gold on the on the impact socket look at that step in the youtube game up right now look at that we box a little bit tight one screw out second bolt out this whole thing could be removed honestly if you want to gap all those people that have been gapping you in those past few years basically you just remove these on both sides and you've removed at least a kg of weight so now we are just left with the brake disc and and this is where i had real problems yesterday because i actually stripped one of the nuts got it old brake disc and here is the new one literally it looks like the material that they use on my iMac on my MacBook it looks so nice that it shouldn't even be on a car I'm actually well impressed look at that wow. next thing we needed to do was get these brake discs off and I actually used a hammer and also a little bit of cardboard oh, that came on well easy here is the old brake disc let me know if you guys think that this needed changing. Now all we need to do is smack on the new disc. Now this is where people are going to roast me, even though it says the new brake disc, that one right there, it does not need cleaning. So pretty much the company that sent this, they basically say on the description, is ready to use outside the box. So there's no oil, there's no transit oil on it. If I get a single fucking comment from you lot saying that anything clean it, when it comes to your house, slap your dog up, all right? Get the new brake disc or the fine fucking saucer like i like to call it pop that on would you look at these fucking buttes they are so sexy i don't even want to drive with these on they look too good i'm so excited by these brakes these ones this one here looks fucking like nothing on there there you go Okay. The brake pads that I actually got, they were salty little bitches and they didn't supply new clips. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to sand them down, get the like top dirt off. I'm not going to sand them down too much and then I'll probably put some copper grease on it. Voila, brake pads all in. Knock this cap off. Don't know if you guys can see. Watch the piston or this little bit right here. This little compressor was like £10. And I'd rather spend £10 to make my job easier than to stand here looking like a twat. Now that is all ready for the new brake pads. Ha! Got it! Ha! Got it! Ha! 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 Yeah. Right, next step is to pop this one back onto this one. Brake pads all in, facing the right way. Imagine we had them facing the wrong way. <laughs> Right, so we've got the brand new brake pads installed and we've got the brand new brake disc installed. It wasn't too hard to do this. Definitely would recommend this because uh, you can save a lot of money doing this yourself and you could spend it on hookers. I don't fucking care what. I did just quickly want to expand on this point. A dealership offered me £224 to change the front disc and pads, which is literally a fucking joke because Janet down at McDonald's doesn't even charge that much for a blowy. I paid £37 for the discs and £25 for the pads. Excluding the tools that I brought, this brake job cost me £37 plus £25. I might be Asian, but I'm, I would be a shit calculator. £62 altogether. So that gives me a savings of £162, which I could buy a buck plug for and a dozen lackeys. Basically, all we need to do now is get the wheels back on and we'll go on a little bit drive down the road to test this. Ooh, all right. So the brake change is now completely complete. And pretty much I've, had, I've took it off of the, of the bricks. Uh, so I've had to drive it and then use the brakes, but slight problem. They do feel a tad bit, actually quite a bit spongy. It feels like there's air in the brakes. I don't know how it got in, 
because I did have to open the massive cylinder. I only le left it like half open and also not for long. So I don't know, but we're gonna go on a little drive down the road, see if they're all good. And then I'll show you guys the fun result. Right then, so I'm about to film my death or something. But yeah, the brakes do feel good. I've got to say, the only thing that's obviously left, let down is that little spongy feeling. Just taking it nice and slow for the first thing. The brake changes anyway, you need to take it slow for like 400 miles or something, so. What? I think that's a big success. We didn't die. <laughs> Come on. Oh, actually, I could get a little montage here. Let me get a montage here. There are the new brakes, they look absolutely sick. They genuinely look so good. You can see that they're kind of being used now. I'm actually kind of sad because they look so good that they shouldn't even be, you know, used. But you know what, whoever gets this car next, big up you lot, you're gonna have a sick fucking car. Yo, these lights as well, I haven't spoken much on them, but they look absolutely amazing. So let's hop in the car, it's absolutely fucking freezing. Right guys, so it is absolutely freezing my nuts. I've been out here for two seconds and my nuts feel like they are shriveled up. But, so if we come out here, uh, we've actually got the brakes right here. Look at them, beautiful. Oh my God, look at them. They are so fresh, man. You know what, I kind of even wish that we didn't even like, I wish we just kept the, new brake discs in my fucking room and framed them. They are so sexy. Overall, the brake change went quite well, if I must say myself. I'm basically Jeremy Clarkson right now. First set of brakes, we ran into two problems, but uh, the second set, we smashed out the bag in under an hour. Okay, maybe that's pushing it. Maybe, maybe two hours. Today, I actually did a half an hour drive with the new brakes, and I actually flushed the brakes with new brake fluid the day before, and now the brakes feel so good. I can't feel that sponginess in the brakes anymore, and I legit feel like if I put my foot down to the floor on the brake pedal, I will literally fly out my fucking window. There they are, the absolute beauties. What do you think of them, Clay? Very nice montage shot. These brakes make the car look fucking like new. The other brakes, they were all rusty around here. I don't know if they, these all rust the same, but these ones look fucking gorgeous, man. But yeah, overall, fucking ass. Shout out the flying fucking saucers, look at them. So, unfortunately, that is the end of today's video, guys, uh, changing the brakes. If you guys did enjoy, subscribe, and if you didn't, go fuck off. Um, anyway, guys, follow me on Instagram, add the underscore other stuff, and I'll see you later in the next video. Bye.